Every gardener dreams of fast, healthy growth that doesn't rely on expensive fertilizers or store-bought boosters. The real secret to explosive plant growth isn't in chemicals or fancy products, it's in the soil's living population. Microbes, the unseen workers beneath our feet, hold the key to nutrient cycling, disease suppression and soil fertility. But instead of using yeast, which only offers limited benefits, there's a much more powerful approach, the million microbe method. This practice rapidly multiplies a diverse army of beneficial microorganisms and feeds them to your soil in concentrated form. Within just 30 days, it can transform sluggish gardens into thriving ecosystems. Why yeast alone won't deliver the results you want? Many gardeners start out experimenting with yeast in their soil or compost, often because yeast is cheap and widely available. Yeast does play a role in fermentation, breaking down sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide, but it lacks the full spectrum of functions plants truly need. Soil health depends on a balanced community of bacteria, fungi, actinomy seeds and protozoa that can unlock nutrients, fix nitrogen and build humus. Relying on yeast alone is like expecting a single worker to build an entire house. It simply doesn't cover all the jobs required. You see, this is why Japanese and Korean natural farming methods, well, they move beyond just yeast. They focused on cultivating diverse microbial inoculants. These approaches, they multiplied millions of different microbes, and these could be directly applied to soil and plants, bringing balance and vigor much faster than yeast could ever provide. The million microbe method, it starts with natural ingredients. The foundation of this method really is making your own microbial culture using common materials that are abundant in almost every home. Instead of those yeast packets, you rely on starches, sugars and natural sources of wild microbes. A simple starting point, well, it's cooked rice. You spread a layer of slightly moist rice in a shallow container and cover it loosely with paper or cloth. Then, place it outside in a shaded area for about five to seven days. During this time, wild microbes from the air and soil, they colonize the rice. When it turns fuzzy with white, yellow or orange growth, you've captured a diverse population of local microorganisms. Next, mix this rice with equal parts brown sugar by weight. The sugar preserves the microbes creating a stable inoculant often called indigenous microorganisms, or IMO. Stored in a sealed jar, this base can last months and becomes the backbone of the million microbe method. Once you have your starter culture, it's time to multiply it into millions more. The easiest way is to brew a microbial solution. In a five gallon bucket of non-chlorinated water, add two to three tablespoons of your rice and sugar inoculant. Stir it well and then add a food source such as half a cup of unsulfured molasses or, you know, a handful of ground grain like barley or cornmeal. Let this mixture sit loosely covered for 24 to 48 hours. During this time, the microbes will rapidly reproduce, feeding on the sugars and starches. You'll know it's ready when the liquid has a sweet, yeasty smell without any foul odour. At this stage, you have a microbial tea that can be applied directly to your garden. For foliar sprays, dilute it at a ratio of one part tea to 20 parts water. For soil drenching, use one part tea to 10 parts water and pour about one quart around the base of each plant. So this inoculates the soil with a living, diverse population that, you know, just keeps multiplying underground. Here's how the million microbe method transforms soil and plants. When you apply this microbial solution regularly for 30 days, it changes the soil environment dramatically. The microbes actually colonize plant roots forming protective biofilms that block harmful pathogens. 
They also break down organic matter into forms plants can absorb right away, releasing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in plant-available form. The soil structure also improves as fungal threads and bacterial glues create stable aggregates, allowing more air and water to reach the roots. Gardeners who apply the solution weekly notice stronger stems, darker leaves and faster flowering. Yields increase not because of synthetic fertilizers, but because the plants are finely in sync with the biology of the soil. The Million Microbe Method essentially brings the natural fertility of a forest floor into your raised beds or garden rows. In raised beds, you'll find that one gallon of diluted microbial tea per 10 square feet of soil surface is really sufficient for weekly applications. For in-ground gardens, you can actually apply the tea in trenches between rows, which allows the microbes to spread outwards as water percolates, you know. A practical example would be brewing, say, five gallons of tea and using it to cover 50 to 60 square feet of vegetable bed area. For fruit trees, pour two gallons of diluted tea evenly around the drip line once a month during the growing season. For container gardening, add one cup of the diluted solution to each pot weekly. This not only keeps the potting mix alive, but also prevents compaction and nutrient depletion, which are, you know, pretty common in containers. The Million Microbe Method is not about buying expensive additives or relying on yeast alone. It's about harnessing the power of diverse soil biology using simple, natural inputs and multiplying those microbes into millions before applying them back to your soil. In just 30 days, the results can be astonishing. Plants grow stronger, soil becomes looser and harvests multiply. If this guide gave you a new way to supercharge your soil and you're ready to see your garden thrive without costly inputs, make sure to subscribe to Soil Doctor and share this method with fellow gardeners who want healthier soil and bigger harvests.